Steph has been, you know, even even when he's lobbied, uh, like in the Houston series when he hurt his ankle, um, he would lobby and then admit, no, it's probably not right. And so I, I know that we will get a truthful answer from Steph. He's not going to try to be a, a hero. If Curry doesn't play, the Warriors face two challenges from the young and feisty Blazers. Slowing down Damian Lillard, who went for a career playoff high 40 points in game three, and getting more production from more of their starters. I wasn't in the flow, and, you know, I take responsibility for that. I'm the point guard. And, um, you know, just being more aggressive with my game and then also calling plays where we can get more ball movement and uh, body movement. And if we can make uh, their guards work just as hard defensively, we feel like it'll maybe hinder their legs in the fourth quarter, uh, which is what happened in game two. So if we, we let them run around freely defensively and kind of take possessions off and get their legs, um, you know, they're going to knock down shots together. Right? All right, our thanks to David Aldridge. Now, keep this in mind. The Warriors have not lost back-to-back -back games since games two and three of last year's finals. Portland will try and change that up Monday night. Plenty more to do here on this edition of Game Time. Sam and 3D coming right back. Five-star reviews. I'm always asked, why do you have the Chicago Bulls Argyle sock monkey? They always say, why don't you have one? Five stars.